believe we are now live. What is up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel and welcome to Casual Saturdays. Now, Casual Saturdays, for those of you who are new to the community, is something I used to do like a year or so back. Uh, basically, it was a chance for me to stream some more niche games, often ones that had uh, a place in like my childhood in the brief time that I played games. Well, I didn't play games briefly as a kid. I played games pretty often, uh, but I didn't play that many, right? So yeah, on casual Saturdays, I like to go back and play some shorter games. They don't even have to be from when I was a kid. They can be anything. But uh, something usually just kind of different, right? Like I have so many long-running series, Doom, Grand Theft Auto, uh, whatever. So today, I'm just going to do something short, simple, and different. Be a fun little uh, change of pace, change of variety. So yeah, I'm looking forward to it. Anyway, welcome to the stream, everybody. Plasma X, good to see you. Hello, small game player. <laughs> What's good, Plasma? 22 Chiwi, welcome. Did your childhood include Art House Mom? <laughs> I don't think so. I certainly hope not. All right, so this first game, um, I don't know why I'm saying first game. This game that we're going to be streaming today is called Overball. So let me give you the backstory to this, right? So when I was a kid, casual games, right? You didn't have like mobile phones and a Google Play Store to download casual games from. So casual games were either something like Flash games or they were like free trials that you would download and then you could buy the full thing later. Um, or in the case of Wild Tangent, they would just have like a group of games that you could download and play. So Wild Tangent pus published a bunch of like really casual games, some of which were actually really good. This one though, I barely played. I played this like once when I was like eight or nine years old. All I really remember about it is that you're a beach ball, you uh, roll over flowers in order to plant them, and you kill bugs. That's all I know about it. It might be great beyond that. It might be terrible. I genuinely don't know, but it's going to be fun to find out. Raptorock says, hi, what's good, Raptorock? All right, guys, so uh, no further ado, let's go ahead and get started. So I wanted to wait to open this until I actually started the stream because given this game's age, it's really finicky. Like you can't even, uh, you can't even buy it anymore. It's only available as abandoned wear. All right, so see what I mean? I think it's actually frozen. Oh no, wait, it's not. Oh, I killed it. I killed it, ladies and gentlemen. All right, let's try it again. Oh crap, I clicked on Saints Row instead. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Okay. Oh, fun. All right, hold up. I can I can stop that. I can stop it. No. All right, we're good. Let's try that again. <laughs> Wonderful start, isn't it? Okay. So I it's open, but it's not full screen. Let's see if we can remedy that. Wait for it. Perfect. All right. So here we go. Overball. You got options, high scores, help, play. Okay, you got collection mode, timed mode, tutorial. We can probably skip the tutorial. We can probably just jump straight into the game. So we'll start off with collection mode here. Pick your starting level. Welcome, top trouble, or so close yet so far. Surely there's more than three levels, I would hope. Welcome. All right, guys, I'm excited. Let's see what's in here. Welcome. It's springtime in Overland. Help the flowers grow, and they will help you explore this fascinating world. How are flowers going to help me explore a fascinating world? Like, legit, I want to know. Is it going to be like Undertale, where they come alive and kill you? <laughs> 22 Chiwi, welcome. Cass, I barely remember anything. Also, Cass, let's skip the tutorial. 22 Chiwi, it was a game where you're a beach ball and you run over flowers. I'm pretty sure I can figure it out. Maybe I'll look like an idiot afterwards. We'll see. Half-Life fan says, yo, Cass, what's good, Half-Life fan? Welcome to the stream, sir. Half-Life is a, is a game I still need to play. Can you believe I haven't played Half-Life? It's disgraceful. It absolutely is. But instead of playing that, we're playing Overball. So, yeah. Good to see you here, man. Use the following keys at any time. P for pause, Q for quit, F for full screen, and toggle mouse controls. All right. Is the music... The music's almost a little loud. Turn that down slightly. There we go. Yeah, there you go. See, actually, 
I said plant the flowers, but I was mistaken. You just, uh, they're already planted. You're just making them grow. Oh, hold up. What was that? Oh, I guess you're, oh yeah, look, upper left-hand corner. Oh, I bumped the mic, sorry about that. Upper left-hand corner, you're collecting gems. I don't remember that part of it. I have to collect, oh, nice. I have to collect 16 gems. Nice. Maybe they would have explained it if I watched the tutorial. <laughs> okay, I'm curious what these do. I don't know. Plant these. Nice. We're getting little stars. We've collected three so far. Nice. Anywhere else to go? Nope. There's a bomb right up there on that hill. I think, oh crap, you see that little that little thing? I think that's what the bomb is for. Nice. I think what that thing actually does is like tear down the flowers that you've planted. If I'm not mistaken. Uh, I feel like there was more to it than that. Oh, no, I guess not. Okay, let's continue. Little red door here. Oh, we're done. Wow. That was a lot shorter than I remember it being. <laughs> I remember that first level just going on and on. You collected seven stars, you were in the silver score multiplier. Next level, three X, collect nine stars for the gold ball. Ah, okay. I guess. Guess I didn't do it fast enough, who knows. Flowers in the over desert need help to grow. But who is raising all this dust? <laughs> Oh, check it! I'm not a beach ball anymore, now I'm a giant marble. The music's different too. Oh yeah, so you're getting stars like when you plant all the flowers, I bet you it's like a time thing. It's funny how many casual games were like this where it's very similar level design. It almost kind of looks like a Wii game, right? I can see that. Anyway, Plasmax says, I used to play a game called Action Ball 2 or something. Action Ball 2. That actually sounds familiar. I don't know why, but it does. It's basically a game where you're a ball and you destroy bricks, metal, and enemies and bosses. It would probably take you two to three hours to complete. Oh, cool. Cast a pro flower plate. <laughs> Thanks, Raptor Rock. Mmm, pro ball gamer. Has fallen. <laughs> I can see that. Oh, look at that top. Probably need to avoid that. It probably would hurt you if you get close to it. All right, more flowers. Ooh, plant all the flowers. There we go. Get a gym. Get another gym. I'm on top of it. Ooh. I got some little bonus or something. I can't go in here. Wait, am I losing flowers when I do that? Oh, I need to have planted 65 flowers. Oh, look. Lower left hand corner, over there. Over there, there you go, okay. There's 26 pink ones that I planted, so it's keeping count, I didn't realize that. Ah, okay. So I just need to plant more pink flowers, and then I can go in there. Sounds good to me. Hello, Mr. Tom. Nice. Can I go in here? You need to have planted 13 yellow flowers, well, how do you expect, oh wait, I've, I've planned 65 pink ones. <laughs> My bad, let's go back. So these are the 13 yellow, and then I can go forward, that makes sense. Nice. I can't lie, this is actually kind of relaxing. Oh man, overball, ladies and gentlemen, it's pretty fun. Holds up pretty good for what it is. Oh, and there we go, into the second level. I'm silver again. Huh, collect 11 stars for the gold ball. You said if I collected nine, I would get the gold ball. I don't have the gold ball. What a shame. Hmm. This looks easy. Um, yeah, it's not very difficult. Wind your way through the tricky level. Can you recover all the shards? You can certainly try. Uh, we need 16 shards? That's what it said last time, too. Ah, I see what happened now. 
Now it's getting a little more tricky here. There's a little elevator to go up. It's kind of like Doom. There's elevators in Doom. <laughs> oh, man. Nice. This one's not just about flowers. This one's about collecting the shards. I thought they were crystals, but I guess they're shards. Like diamond shards? Wouldn't that be a crystal, though? Who knows? Who cares? Plant the flowers, son. There you go. Go up here, play some more. Whee! That was fun. Ah, crap. I fell down. Ooh! I didn't know you could do that. That's cool. I need to go finish planting the red flowers. Whoop. You, YouTube should have a character limit of 1,000. Eh, that'd probably be a little excessive. If the chat was going too fast, you'd block out everyone else's messages with a character limit that big. Here we go. Hold up. We gotta jump this. Nice. So close yet so far. What do you mean? That was beautiful. How, how dare you speak to me in such a way? KJ1, welcome to the stream. Is this a Doom Wad? Yes, it is. Yes, this is, uh, this is Marble Doom. That's what this is called. You'll see the logo clearly displayed in the thumbnail of the stream today. It says Marble Doom. Okay, what happens if I go down this little hole? Oh, I die. Oh, and I'm back to being a beach ball. Well, that's lame. I thought maybe there was like a secret or something down there, but no, no, you just die. Lame. <laughs> this game have a same game mechanic like hamster ball a bit. Nostalgia factor. Yes. Yes, you're right. I never played hamster ball, but I did play overball. Oh, we're done. Nice, seven stars. Guess silver. Collect eight stars for the gold ball. Wow. Is it even possible to get the gold ball? Surely it is. The over temple is usually very peaceful, but all of these tops are making it dangerous. What am I supposed to do about it? Am I supposed to take down the tops? Or just avoid them? Oh! Check it, guys. It's Art Hell's mom. She made it into the game. What's good, Art Hell's mom? How's Art Hell doing? Really? Well, uh, good luck with that then. <laughs> okay, let's go down here. Let's put, oh, 13 pink ones, okay. Nice. Now we can push it down. Ah, oh, you have to wait till it's fully down to go across it. It would be cool if you go across it when it's coming down and it makes a little jump. Gotta plant 26 blue flowers. Dang it. I think if you don't do it quick enough to make that full musical note with the pattern, then you don't get the star. And I messed that up with the blue one. That's probably why we're not getting gold balls. That's okay, though. It's like I always say, everybody. Why have gold balls when you cannot? What's with all the popping sounds? Are you popping my flowers, you stupid tops? Better not be. 13 yellow ones. Okay, where am I gonna find 13 yellow ones at this hour? It's too early in the morning for 13 yellow. Wait, I am hearing weird stuff though. Oh, in here. 26 blue ones, dude, I planted 19 blue ones. Where would I even find more blue ones? Let me backtrack a little bit. Oh man, it's kind of hard to uh, roll the ball up this while well, it makes sense. It's an incline, but still. Oh, pfft. I missed some of those other ones over here. Silly me. Whoop. Back up. Back up. Nice. All right, now we get the yellow ones. Much better. I still don't know what that weird popping sound is, though. What does it even do? Oh, man. Cast this isn't doom. Oh, I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure it is. Uh, no, I'm teasing. Anyway, I'm pretty sure this is Doom. I mean, you're balling, bouncing over all those demonic 
flowers. Oh yeah, I mean, look at that top. Doesn't that look like something out of Doom? I mean, that looks just, that's basically a Hell Knight. Anyway. Uh, let's go over here. Ooh, can I blow up at the top? Woo, yes I can. Oh, I'm gonna destroy the tops in this level, son. All right, it is top killing time. Missed some of those flowers, didn't I? Yes, I did. Hey, buddy. Hello. Boom. Bye-bye. Nice. Would anyone else like to get bombed? Need to plant 39 more flowers. Okay. Apparently, the bomb is timed. Nice. Grab those. Thank you. And there we go. What did I miss? It wasn't a full note. Oh, you gotta plant more, okay. Oh, that's a lot of yellow flowers. All right, here we go. Yellow flower planting mode time. Crap. Crap, crap, it's so, oh, dang it. It is so hard to do them all consistently because, well, the blue thing. Dang it, that wasn't fast enough, oh well. At least we opened the thing. The fiery wind, welcome. Troy the Potato King, welcome to you too. Good to see you guys. This is a unique game I haven't seen in a while. Oh, have you seen this game before, man? Yeah, it's it's very different, which is why I was, why I decided to stream it, is because it was different. Oh, we didn't kill the top, that's okay. We killed most of his friends, he's lonely now, see? That's, that's a sad looking top if I've ever seen one, lonely. Anyway, uh, this makes me wish I grew up with Overball instead of Hamster Ball. Not to say Hamster Ball is bad though, just that each has its own merits, but I never played this before. You're the second one to mention Hamster Ball. I've gotta look that up later. Remind me to look that up when we're done playing this, because I haven't heard of Hamster Ball. But yeah, yeah, this was uh, this was the game I played as a kid. I don't think I got this far. I don't think I made it to level three, but. Now that I think about it, I find it kind of funny that these games are based on Atari games, Marble Madness. I guess casual PC games can be good after all. Oh yeah, casual PC games can be super fun. So, or they can be super lame, just kind of depends. Now I want to see a classic Doom mod that changes the gameplay into a Marble Madness clone, like that GZ Doom Mortal Kombat mod. Um, uh, there, there's a, mm, I wish I could remember what it is. There is like a bowling or marble something type Doom game. I'll have to look it up, but maybe I'll post it in the Discord later, but yeah. There is a mod like that. It's on my list of ones to play. Casual PC games are pretty good, not to mistake hyper casual. I grew up with Game House and it's pretty fun with their game collection. Nice, dude. Yeah, there's a difference between casual and hyper casual. Maybe some flowers won't make the haunted overforest less scary. <laughs> the haunted overforest, ooh. Oh, wait, I see now, the ball is silver. Now I understand, it's not just that it's a marble, it's that it's silver. And I could get the gold ball if I would plant flowers better. And by better, I mean faster. No, the top popped me. Lame, and messed up my star too. Stupid top. Here, I'm gonna get him. Oh, it does pop flowers. Okay. So, does that mean I need to light a bomb? Oh, it does. That is exactly what it means. So that's what all those popping sounds were earlier. They're tops destroying flowers. There you go. Stupid top. Uh, now what? Now where do I go? Eh. Oh, over here. Silly me. Did that say keep out on it? I think it did. Anyway. You already have enough stars for the gold ball. It's not giving me the gold ball. It doesn't even matter if you get the gold ball. If you die, you're just back to being a regular beach ball. Oh man, I think you have to get a certain amount of stars in a given level to get the gold ball plasma. I think that's how it works. So, what happened to Chicken Evader, says KJ1? Oh, I just took a little break from it. Hmm, this thing's gonna, yeah, that's gonna pop the flowers. Okay, let's go back. 
Let's just go back. There we go. Oh yeah, fellow 2000s kid here. Nice, man. Yeah, there were a lot of fun little casual games in the uh, early 2000s. Did any of you guys ever play Feeding Frenzy as a kid? I streamed that uh, about a year ago. So, that was a fun game for me as a kid as well. Another good example of a casual game. Dang it! I didn't go fast enough. Oh, crap! Oh, stink! Dang it, that's a bad loop to be stuck in. Oh, dude, okay. That was very unfortunate. Let's try that again. All right, we gotta be soup. We gotta be like stupid fast with this. Go, 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 go. Come on, it was so close. Okay, try it again. Try it again. Here we go. Here we go. Up here. Get the bomb. How do you get this thing? Okay, okay, we gotta try it again. One more time. One more time. No! <sighs> when they called this map Grave Danger, they meant it. Who needs ASMR videos when I have Kess streaming Overball right now? There you go. See, that's a spirit. Overball streaming in place of Ace. I can see it. Yeah, that's, that's got to be better than some woman just being like, ah, I made food. I made food. Ah. I, is that actually what ASMR is like? I don't know. Game over. You have three continues left. Continue game. Yes. Oh, I got to start the whole level over. Crap. This one got kind of hard, guys. I died too much and everything. I'm so embarrassed. Oh wait, it's just gonna pop the flowers, isn't it? Eh, maybe not. Or maybe, okay. Okay, I see how it is. Yep, see? Reducing my flower count, that's what's going on. That's what's going down, son. Nice. Okay, so... We gotta try to destroy this stupid thing one more time. Well, we gotta plant these first, don't we? Yeah, we do. So what goes over here off to the edge? Anything? No, I don't think so. 16 yellow ones to get in there. Now what's really weird is, oh, wait a minute. Okay, I actually have a theory, guys. I have a theory. You wanna hear my theory? We probably weren't supposed to use that particular bomb like I thought we were. Kess gets lost, the game. <laughs> they had Quest to Chicken and Bears Universe. I saw that. That's exciting. That is a great addition to that game. I mean, it's an MMO. It should have quests. Quests are perfect for a game like that. I'm an idiot, guys. The whole time you're supposed to unlock that door and then get this bomb and go back and kill it. That's, that's why I couldn't get it and there wasn't enough time. It's because that was the wrong bomb to grab. Oh, dang it. I mean, not that that was the most obvious thing in the world, but still, should have known better. Grab these. Crap, crap. This thing's so slippery. Nice. Gotta go back up and get those gems, too. Maybe blow up some tops if I can. Nice, there you go. All right, grab that gem real quick. Can I go around this guy? Maybe if I'm careful. There you go. Nice. Huh, got another star, eight stars. <laughs> Crap. I'm controlling this all with a mouse, by the way. It's pretty hard. Uh, it's, it's actually not really that hard. The controls are actually pretty good for such a casual little game. I mean, it's a simple concept. You're literally just rolling a ball around. I mean, back back when this game came out, most mice had balls in them instead of lasers, so it makes sense. Oh, boy. Oh, yeah, Feeding Frenzy. The sequel somewhat has a bunch of fan-made mods. Wait, really? 
Feeding Frenzy 2 is a bunch of fan-made mods? I didn't know that. I've only played mostly the first game so far. Oh, cool, dude. That's neat. The second game is way better than the first, in my opinion. Even though the first is still good. So. Plasma says, what rank you at? I'm almost at Commander. Not playing much because I met my grandma's. Cool, Plasma. Good for you, man. Pidgey, welcome to the stream. Good to see you. Oh, crap. Hold on. There you go. Nice. Got one star out of that. I don't think I'm going to be blowing any of these guys up, unfortunately. I don't really need to, though. They're not in a position where they're going to damage the flowers. Crap. <laughs> Rolled right off of that, didn't I? Edge equals death. True. Cash, you will suffer while doing them. While doing quests? Why is that? Are they grindy? Pidgey, welcome. What's up, Cass? I'm beginning myself a 144 hertz modder on Monday? That's awesome, Pidgey. Congrats, dude. Oh, you're gonna love it. I have one myself. Total game changer, dude. So, so good. Having that beautiful, smooth frame rate. You're gonna love it. It's gonna be great. Especially with a game like Chicken Invaders. It's just one example of a game that looks good at a high refresh rate. Uh, let's go down here. Oh, oh, oh. Nice. Got the star on that one. I actually did that one correctly. Let's go through here real quick. Oh, he's coming for me, guys. No, he's not, because he's a top. Nice, 13 stars. I earned the bronze bar. Oh, how embarrassing. Makes sense, though. I had to, like, restart the level. And... I mean, that was a long one. It was fun, though. That was a good level. All right. Can can Cantan Kurus cubes. Something new is squishing flowers in Overland. Ah! Something new? Well, we gotta we gotta get rid of them. Daniel Lester, welcome. Is this an online game or is it available on Steam or to download? Uh, neither. This is a game called Overball. It was one of those like really casual games published by Wild Tangent when I was a kid. It's no longer available for sale, but somebody uploaded it to archive.org, so you can download it in the description if you need to. So I linked it down there for anyone who wants to play it. Uh, Kess, does this game have an ending? I don't know. I have, I haven't played it since I was a kid, dude. I only played a level or two. So the ending, you planted flowers, now women are more happy because their husbands are getting them more flowers. That'd actually be a really nice ending. But it wouldn't make any sense given the story. The story's all about. Okay, show of hands, all right. No, not, not even show of hands. I'm taking an official poll for this one. All right. Does the bronze ball look better than the silver ball? Uh, hard yes, hard yes from your boy. But I wanna see what everybody else says. Uh, oh, crap. Game pause, press P to resume. This is unfortunate. Oh, F, F is to for full screen, that's right. It told me that earlier. All right, we're good, we're back. Anyway. Yes, it does have mods. Remember I told you about Feeding Frenzy mods, I think on Discord. Did you, Pidgey? You might have, dude. You might have told me that and I just forgot. That's cool, do you know of any good ones to recommend? Because I would totally stream those. Make for a good casual Saturday stream, some Feeding Frenzy 2 mods. Oh, man. Ooh, ooh. Ah. If there's, these aren't, these aren't the new things you were talking about, right? Oh, I gotta plant pink flowers. I won't need to squish them all, though. Well, yeah, but I guess you can do it before. Oh, nice, you didn't even squish them in time. Wonderful. So you have to like time it then, that makes sense. Boom, get destroyed. All right, we got another one. Yes, 50%, no 50%. The chat is split on that one, guys. Anyway, Daniel Esther says, oh sweet man, much appreciated. You're a well sound, you're a well sound person, don't forget that. Thanks dude, appreciate it. Still prefer the beach ball one though, instead of this skin. Honestly, yeah, the beach ball just kind of has that, just kind of looks like a classic, you know what I mean? I don't know, no, actually, I don't know what I mean. How would you know what I meant? Oh, crap. 
The cursor has come back to haunt me, guys. Where's this? Where's this stinking cursor from? C cursor, please go away. I don't want you here. You're, you're messing with my game. Okay, it's gone. Oh no, it's still there. Oh well. Probably from where we minimalized it and then full screened it. What's the static sound? Is that the cube? Oh crap, that's a big hill. Uh, nice. Get destroyed. Yeah. Nice. Beautiful. All right, up. Ooh, ooh. We gotta get another uh, another bomb for this one. Not the bomb, son. Don't you forget it. Uh, I think that's it. Yeah. Good stuff, guys. GG. Go over here and get some more gems. Hey, don't forget, guys. Everyone in the chat, you're the real gem. Crap. Oh, dang it, I missed the star thing. Oh, well. I missed the chance to blow up one of these guys, too. Oh, dear. That didn't work. Oh well. Nice. There you go. Now I got a star. Uh, bridge? Cantankerous Cubes. What a weird name. Like, oh, Cantankerous. Oh, wait. No, that actually makes sense because they're destroying the flowers. Oh, crap. The thing probably would have hurt me if it would. Didn't get away from it in time. Nice. It's like one beach ball just wants to save the flowers of the world, and that's it. Oh, I got another life! Hey, that must be what those gems are for. Give you more lives, that's cool. Eee, nice. Very fun. Pidgey says, I've had a 60 hertz one for a long time, and I hate using V-Sync because of the input lag. That's why I'm happy to finally get one. Awesome, Pidgey, so is it like a free sync? Slash G-Sync type monitor, or is it just a regular one? Can I get back to this guy in time? I'm genuinely not sure. Let's try it. Let's try it. Let's try it. Come on. Come on. Woo! We can. We can totally get him in time. Okay. Did that. We need some more, uh, we need to collect some more gems. Get some more lives. Oh, we're done. GG. You collected 14 stars. Earn the silver score multiplier for the next level. I really want to see what the gold one looks like. Uh, have you recently heard of an open Lara, open Lara, Tomb Raider 1996 source code mod that allows you to play as Mario from Super Mario 64? Fans of both games are having a blast right now. Didn't know that. That's cool. You know what this game reminds me of? Remember Kua World on the PS1, you have to solve them puzzles with that beach ball. I don't remember that at all. That's cool though. Raptor Rock says thanks. Don't know what for, but you're welcome, I guess. Jokey Juke says hi. What's good, Jokey Juke? <laughs> welcome to the stream of Overball. Uh, you know in school, we had this game as a default game for all of laptops. Really, Overball? Good choice. Good choice, man. Oh no, hold up. We are having some uh, connection issues. Hold on a second, ladies and gentlemen. We're gonna have to take a brief pause. Let me minimize the game real quick. Oh no, wait, we stabilized, I think. All right, I'm sorry about that, any everybody. If you encountered a uh, lag or intermittent latency or buffering or whatever, we had a little bit of a connection issue here. I think we're good now though, I think we're stable. Actually, I might need to restart it. Hey, give me one second, everybody. Okay, I think we're back now. Give it a second. Yep. All good. Sorry about that, everyone. Uh, uh-oh. Nope. Nope. Same issue. Same issue. Give it a second. Okay, there it is. Now we're, now we're good. Goodness gracious. Internet, am I right? Free sync, yeah. Awesome, Pidgey. Well, good on you, mate. I have a, uh... Hmm, I need to show you what monitor I have. This is the one I have. LG 850, I think it's a GL. 
GL or a, a GN? This one right here. This is the one I have. Now I have an NVIDIA graphics card. So this is like FreeSync but G-Sync compatible at the same time. Really nice monitor. Very good visuals too. IPS panel, it's pretty great. All right, anyway, let's go ahead and continue, shall we? I heard you can have G-Sync with a FreeSync monitor. I wonder if that'll work for me. So it varies by monitor model, monitor model. So just look up the model that you're planning to buy before you buy it and on the internet it'll tell you whether or not it's compatible with G-Sync if you have an NVIDIA card. Most of them are at this point, but even the ones that aren't certified may still work, but there's certain ones that like they're certified to be compatible because they've actually gone and tested it. Uh, this game acts like Chicken Invaders 3. You have to get a specific amount of points to get an extra life. Oh yeah, you're right. May I speak of the dogs from Prussia who just happen to be lords? What? It was deemed a good way to learn mathematics. This game? Oh, odd. Good. Still, I mean, if you're a kid, it'd be fun. <laughs> Tumble your way to the bottom, then bridge your way back up. Tumble your way to the bottom, then bridge back up. Oh, that's kind of cool. I don't know about how much it would help you learn math unless you're just counting flowers and gems. Eh, I guess you are. There's this whole little rhythmic thing. You get gold stars. Actually, no, this actually would make sense in a classroom setting. You've convinced me, Troy. <laughs> Missed those diamonds, didn't I? Oh, boy. There you go. On one fell swoop. You know, I really like it. <laughs> nice! Ghost Reaper Lord just subscribed. Thank you, Ghost Reaper Lord. Wherever you are out there in Kess Gaming Land. That was cringy. S sorry I said that. Anyway, <laughs> thanks for seven. Ugh. Overall, the best Saints Row game. Overall, the best Saints Row game. Overball? Is the best Saints Row game? <laughs> Is that a fact? Oh man, best Saints Row game. I'd say the best one was Saints Row 2. There's some people who would say Saints Row 3, and I could I could see that. That was a good game too. Can I get all these? Um hmm. I have so many questions. Wait a minute. Oh, maybe that's what the green thing's for. No, this just brings you down. <gasps> Guys, it doesn't change the camera angle. Oh, pfft. I see it now. That, that you're just another lift over here. You're just having to go by the shadow. Okay, we'll wait for this lift to come down, then we'll get it. <laughs> okay. There we go. There we go. Just stay there. Stay in this corner. Nice. There we go. We got another wife. Dang it. Oh, man. We got to go back. Oh, boy. This is going to be a little bit tough because it's going to be very easy to fall off this. Let's see if I can go in a very straight line. <laughs> Crap. Oh, dude. Okay, hold up. Uh, wait. Oh, I'm back at the start, aren't I? Yeah, I am. I'm back at the start of the level. This one's kind of cool. Like, conceptually, this is a neat one. Lives or balls. Yep. Or beach balls. We got five of them. It's a good thing, too. Even though you probably can't roll off of this to your death. Not in this particular segment, anyway. Alright, so we'll get these red ones, and then I think that little square over there is the end of the level. I think. Dude, how do you... How the stink? This is like a very precarious balancing act. Like, it's... Okay. I'm just gonna try to stay... I was trying to stay so far away from the edge on the left side, I think I'm overcompensating a bit, so... Let's just try to lean a little more to the left. Dude, it's so easy to fall off the right-hand side. It is so easy. Leave up to Kess to mess things up. 
Yeah, I mean, I get it, Troy, but like, this is, this is actually really difficult. Hold up, we're gonna get it. We're gonna get it this time. Check it. Okay, I actually got a few more flowers, so that's, that's a win. That's a win, and we're gonna do it again. Here, can I do it from this side? Like, can I just cheese the whole thing? Yes, I can. I'm just that amazing. Let's do it again. Let's stink and do it again, because I'm so tired of the other side. I'm so tired of doing it the right way. Okay. Oh! <laughs> now I see why you're supposed to do it the right way. Thank goodness we had all those extra ball vibes, huh? The curse of cursors. Yeah, I know. Ugh. The giant cursor is annoying me. Wow. Well, that was stupid. Ugh. <laughs> the freaking cursor. Everything is just breaking down. Atif hey, Orshad says hi. Guess what's good, Atif? Hey, Welcome to the stream, buddy. We are doing Overball. It's the game I played as a kid. Now I'm playing it again as an adult. And it's every bit as good as I remember it being. An underrated gem of the of the casual games market. I uh, hope you're having a good one, dude. Interesting game you're playing. Yes, sir. And after we finish this, uh, Portal, the Flash version is up next. So we're gonna stream that afterwards. For those of you who don't know what Portal, the Flash version is, it's a great story, so I, oh no, wait! Collected, you got four stars. No, I wanted to get the other two flowers first. I thought, I didn't think you could even leave till you got them all. Oh well. Um, who are we talking about? Oh yeah, so the story of Portal the Flash version, right? Well, you know what? No, I'll save it for that stream. I'll just explain at the beginning of the stream. It's a very great story. Anyway, the flowers grown on the ziggurat honor those who built it. The ziggurat. Isn't that like a really square, bricky looking pyramid? I think so. Or is it like a frame they would put around pillars? I don't know. Did I say pillars? I meant say pyramids. My uh, Egyptian history is a little rusty. There was also pyramids in Central America. Could be referring to that. I genuinely don't know. Uh, and I see you're having a mental breakdown. Yeah, you caught me in an interesting time, ATF. Kess, I'm so amazing. Kess dies. Certified Kess gaming moment. Yeah. A little bit. What's funny is that I also played Portal Flash quite some years ago. Oh, cool, dude. I've never played it. I've played all the other things affiliated with it, like the Still Alive content, um, the Portal Flash version, ported into actual Portal maps, right? Done all that, but I've never played the original Flash version. It's gonna be great. The flowers grow... Oh, I read that already. All right, here we go. I still think the bronze one looks better. I don't know why. It just does. Like, from a purely cosmetic point of view, I'd almost rather have the bronze one than silver. No, you wouldn't cash. You're just coping because you're sad that you don't have it. Yeah, you're right. Is there a bomb down here? We gotta light a bomb. It's time to light a bomb, ladies and gentlemen. Who's ready to light a bomb? We need to take another poll in the chat. Light a, light a bomb. Oh, by the way, bronze being better than silver is leading with 56% of the vote. It's very close. Probably need to end that poll. I'll no, we'll do it later. Okay, grab that. Take out the little squiggle guy. Oh, no! No! D Dang it. Okay. Try this again. And he's popping my flowers like they're little balloons. I don't know why they chose to use that sound effect of all things, quite honestly. Why... Why make popping flowers sound like balloons? I don't... I don't get it. E1M9. Ziggurat Vertigo. Quake 1996. Oh, really? Oh. So I have some idea of how it plays, but I forgot about specific details. Oh, about Portal the Flash version? Okay. I imagine it plays like Portal in 2D, from what little I've seen of it, because I've, I've looked it up and everything. Dang it! Too slow. All right. Speed run time, guys. You ready? I'm teasing. That comes with timed mode. Timed mode will be for the speed running. Nice, let's go. Beautiful. Okay, we gotta do this again. Go up here. Nice. There you go. All right, let's go down here and grab some gems. Okay, there's a top. There's a couple of tops, actually. We need to get a bomb and go back down over there. Wait a minute. 
No, there's no way I could get down there quickly enough to use a bomb. Is there st Oh, oh! That's not what I meant to do. Guys, I'm almost out of lives. I'm an idiot. Uh, is there another bomb, perhaps? It sure doesn't stink and look like it. Oh, wait a minute, yes there is. Nice. All right, we can get him with this bomb. Get destroyed, top. All right, second one. Second top time. Boom. All right, can we get the third one is the real question. Maybe. I hope so. No guarantees, though. Nice. That was actually really close timing. Anyway, Overball is so much like Doom. It even has the elevators. That's true. You're right. The lifts are exactly like Doom. Jim. There you go. Can't go through there yet. Gotta plant more yellow flowers. Fair enough. Is that all I am to you, game? Just a flower flint. A, a flower. A flower. Never never mind. Never mind. Talking's too too hard. Yeah, this is a ziggurat, alright. You can tell just by looking at it. I said to myself this morning, wow, what a fine ziggurat this is. Now here, okay. That guy's gonna be a problem, I can tell just by looking at him. This one, eh, is he gonna be a problem? Probably not, he's kinda outside the flower planting radius. Him I don't really care about. The one on the edge is the issue. But that's the one that's close enough to the bomb to actually get, most likely. There you go. Oh no, there's another one. So many tops. Nice. There you go, guys. All the yellow flowers have been planted, and that other one's not gonna hurt anything. There you go. Well, Kess Dum Dum losing lives. No, I'm, I'm good, I got this, Atif. I totally got this. Okay, I gotta plant more pink flowers. I mean, I only got one life left, sure, but that's okay. Dang it. Dude, how am I gonna get to a, him with the bomb? He's really far away. Maybe there's one down here. Oh, pfft. Yeah, look up for two seconds, Kess. We'll do you some good. All right, I guess that's it. Well, it's not it, but you know what I mean. Ugh. At least Kess isn't losing his sanity yet. Oh, no. No, I'm good. I'm good. This is fun. Like the greatest game ever. What's, what's to lose your sanity over? the exit, isn't it? Yeah. But I can't leave yet. There's all those extra little yellow flowers over here. Gems, bombs, and all kinds of crazy stuff. Ooh. Oh, this is challenging. You can see why. Getting the bomb and then getting out of that blue area in time, that's kind of challenging. I really want to blow this top up, too. I can. I guess it doesn't really matter. There's no flowers he's gonna get to, but still. All right, here, hold on. We're gonna go to the wall, and then we're gonna start going forward. Yes, go, 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 go. Woo! There we go. All right. Oh! No! We have two continues left. Continue game, yes. No, I have to start the whole level over? Dude! Oh, I'm such an idiot. Oh, come on, L. Kess took the L. Can I get an L in the chat? That was sad. That was sad. That was sadness on a stick. That's what that was. I gotta go in here and get another bomb. Now, I forget the idea of gameplay mod. I wanna see someone make a source port of Classic Doom with this kind of gameplay. <laughs> no fancy additional files just load. I wanted it to die over Doom. That would be hilarious. Oh, man. Nice. Grab that. There you go. Beautiful. I'm actually doing it better this time. I'm doing it better the second time around. You know it. I know it. 
It's amazing. Nice. Get more stars, all kinds of good stuff. Gotta get this guy though. Uh, those guys, they got their own little bomb section. Kess dies, yeah. Chill and nice like an ice. That Kess we know. Uh, now Kess will lose his sanity. L, L, plenty of Ls. Kess, please don't lose sanity. I'll try. Oh, no! I mean, I get that was on me because I did just go off the edge, but come on. Here we go. I'm such an idiot. What the crap? Okay. It cannot be this difficult. All right, hold on, hold on, hold on. There you go. There you go, I got it. No! I'm really worried about what happens when I run out of continues. Do I have to start the entire game over again? That would be sad. Uh, pink one's next. Elegant, no! <laughs> Seriously, why go against the booster direction to begin with? I was trying to get the last flower. I should have just gone around. That was pretty dumb, I'll admit. Okay, let's try this again. We even to guess to roll off the map. <laughs> yeah, three times in a row, basically. Like, that's just stupid. Oh, man, okay. Good deal. And after I was bragging about how much better I was doing, too. And uh, I miss some red flowers? Oh, yeah, that guy. Gotta get him. Can't forget about him. There's two of those things, actually, isn't there? I think so. Nice. All right, one more. Imagine like an overball speed run, right? How funny would that be? Like a professional speedrunner's game or something? It'd be kind of fun. Stretch pressure's been increased by 110%. No, oh, oh, I caught myself. I caught myself that time. It was still a dumb thing to do, but I did catch myself, so. Consider that a redemption arc. I don't know about you, but I sure do. Nice. Okay, even if they squash him, that's fine. Because, uh, we got the stars. Okay, so we're all good now. We just gotta go back here and blow up the tops. Gotta be careful about it because it's very easy to get hurt. Or fall off, I should say. I mean, look at all those pits we have to fall into. Oh, stink! Okay, that was not good timing. Let's try that one more time. I don't think that top's even gonna hurt anything, but I still wanna get it. I don't think my revenge vendetta against tops is particularly healthy. It doesn't seem to be affecting my overall health very well. Let's just skip that one. Let's just skip, went no, no, I really wanna get it. I really want to get this top. There we go. Okay, I got him. All right, all good. All good, guys. Stop the L. Cass is a bomb. I'm trying. I'm trying to be the bomb. Only kind of working out so-so for me, but eh. Man, I forgot how long this particular level was. These yellow ones, you got more tops. Aha, you missed me, dummy. Blow those two up here shortly. Now this top I know I can't get, because there's no way I can get up there with a bomb in time. But these two down here I can take care of. Starting with that one. And get this one next. There you go. Replant those. Good deal. Nice. A 
up here next. Wait a minute, what about this way? Oh, you can go either. Oh, cool. I missed this part earlier, I think. Of course, I kind of just assumed you could jump over to it. Which makes sense. That sounds like something I would think. I'll just jump over there later. I mean, you see the little little thing right here. It looks like you could jump over there. In fact, you probably could. Wouldn't be very safe. Wouldn't recommend it, but you could. So many L alphabet. This turned into Twitter suddenly. <laughs> I understand why it was called Zigger Rat Spin. It literally spin our head 360 degrees in the confusion. Yeah, yeah, that's this map for you. Map. I even called it a map. This really is Doom. Oh, wait, we're done! No! I didn't want to be done! No, we had the chance at gold! We had the chance at gold! I only needed one more star and I could have gotten it! I'm cheated. I was cheated. By myself. L. L, everyone. Be sure not to- Oh, super scary. Be sure not to lose your cool. Take your time and don't get scared. <laughs> I love how they just knew that I, of all people, needed to hear that message, right? Oh, man. Okay. There's a lot of gems on this one. Nice. Go up here. Ah, I gotta plant the pink ones. Okay. Take our time and don't get scared. Here we go. Whoa, that was easy. Is that is that literally the exit right there? No, dude. L. L again. Is this the whole level? That looks like the exit behind this gate. That was literally the whole level. Oh, I got gold though. I actually got gold that time. Guys, we can now see what the gold ball looks like. Are you ready? Are you ready, ladies and gentlemen, for the gold ball? Kess is a, oh, a bomb. I thought you said boomer. Another row. The only game to make you regret being done. <laughs> Creator of this game adds a jump scare to this level. <laughs> Key didn't, but that would have been a nice touch. All right, here we go, guys. Rings around Rosie. What are those strange lights in the over temple? Be careful while growing flowers. Are you serious? That's the most disappointing one yet. That looks even worse than silver. Well, no, I don't know. It's kind of shiny. Oh man, when they said gold, that is not what I was thinking at all. What do you guys think? I don't know. I still think bronze is the nicest looking one out of the bunch. Gold ball. Hi there, hi champion, welcome. Two streams in one day, yes sir. Do an overball right now. We're doing Portal the Flash version later. They're both shorter games. That's why I'm doing two. So. Um, if my jump scares, they meant semi-stressful puzzles like this one level, I'd be more all for it, right? Here we go, gold balls. Never mind, I fall down. Gold ball looks bad, does it? Kess is now a dragon ball. <laughs> a dragon ball, wow. I could see that. Oh man. Oh, I missed one. Uh, missed this little patch. There we go. Uh, go over here, I guess. Yes. Nice. Missed another. Oh, I got, I got another life. I think. Yay me. Okay. Uh, go over here, grab that, nice. And now we go this way. I, so, they said this was the Overton Temple, right? Oh, stink! What the crap is, are, th these look like the little plastic rings around bottle caps when you first open a bottle, it looks like Two of them got together and then got stuck and started revolving around one another in a weird manner. That's the only way I know how to describe those enemies. Oh, they're dead, whatever they are. 
Uh, let's go over here, grab that. Thank you. More flowers. Beautiful. Beautiful. Alrighty. Champions is epic. Yeah, casual Saturdays are fun. Glad we're doing it again. Well, crap. Nice. Oh, he's popping it. Mm. Is there another bomb around here? Or do I have to go back and grab that one we had? Huh. Fifty-three. Well, the problem with hold up, hold up. Maybe we can get over there in time. I don't know. That's pretty far. Here, I'll try. Maybe I could get this one top and try that. I don't know about the little cube thing, though. Okay, I got rid of him. That's one That's one start, anyway. 37, that's still not enough blue flowers. Let's, no, we need more red ones to go over there. Uh, huh. We got all the red ones that are over this way. Oh, crap! Dang it. How many levels have you done in this game, and how many are there? No idea of either of those questions. No idea what the answer is to either of those questions, what I meant to say. Uh, even an actual gold is more durable than this ball of disappointment. There are 420 levels, he's done 69. There you go. Uh, hey, did you know Ring Around Rosie uh, is based on the plague. I'm sure no one has ever said that before. <laughs> yeah, I, I heard that, of that before. It's like, uh, that's like something a lot of people who write history books like to include as like a fun little Easter egg. Ooh, 14 yellow flowers. There's one that we're missing. Try to open this up before he pops it. Nice, there you go. That was the bomb we needed. I must have missed that door we were the first time around. Can we go this way now? No. Still need red flowers for that. Go down here. Nice. So, yeah, they're gonna pop some of them. Yeah, yeah, I figured as much. That's okay. I'm gonna go get a bomb, and I'm gonna destroy your stupid faces. Hold up. Whoop, that was close. Almost went off the edge there. That could have been bad. All right, one of them's destroyed. We'll wait till the other one kind of comes back around, because you can only go so far with the bomb. Yeah. You know I'm just going right behind you, replanting these, right? He, he doesn't care. He's too stupid. Okay. Okay. Here, get destroyed, dummy. Man, that makes me so nervous when I get to the edge now because of how many times I've fallen off. All right, good deal. So that should be all the... Oh, there's another bomb down here the whole time. How embarrassing, probably for the top, actually. Still, that would have been much easier. Nice. All right, we'll go up here next. All right, we want to know our next area. Frank one, welcome. I just fell down and my hips hurt. I'm sorry. I guess. Hope, hope you feel better. Goodness, man. No down your hips hurt. Yeah, man, just so. I mean, it kind of goes without saying. If you're gonna fall down, your hips are gonna hurt. It's kind of like my grandfather always used to say. When you start falling, you never know when you're gonna stop falling. And then I said, wouldn't that just be when you hit the ground? And he's like, no, you're just a Democrat. That's why you think that. And I'm like, oh, okay. I don't know why he said that. I'm not even a Democrat. Anyway, let's go. Let's, go. let's grab that. And hit the bridge. Dip. No. No! 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 Enter your name here. Kess Gaming. More like Kess Laming. Do you want to post your high score online? Not really. What happens if I say yes? Oh, hey, I, I'm, I'm at the top of this board. Kess Gaming. So it minimalized this, and look, it opened a browser window. 
wildboards.wildtangent.com slash redirectors slash games slash leaderboard lookup slash decoder. Who wants to bet that this connection times out and the leaderboards no longer exist? Yeah, what did I say? What connection timed out? Yep, mm-hmm. Can we get a rip in the chat for the leaderboards? L moment. Uh, ah, <laughs> uh, nah. Ah, uh, nah. Okay, well, um... So, hold on, let's make this full screen again. Okay, so... The good news is we can just pick, we, they unlock the levels as you play them, so we can just start from the level we left off on. It just restarts our score. Kind of like Feeding Frenzy, I think. Feeding Frenzy worked pretty much the same way. Okay, so in answer to ATF's, ATF's question, if I had to guess based on this layout, I'd say there's probably 18 levels. So we're probably a little over halfway through. Now, Rage. I think he meant if you keep falling, you won't fall no more, as you'll break something if you fall too much. Ah, uh, maybe that's what he meant, champion. Yeah, maybe that's what he meant. So, makes sense. I wouldn't have thought of that, but yeah. yeah. Go over here, grab that. Beautiful. That is pretty disappointing. <laughs> I just kept falling off a bit. I must say, though, this is a really fun little game. Like, for how simple it is. You know what I'm saying? Like... <sighs> don't, don't look at me, you stupid bottle cap. I don't want to hear it. I don't want to freaking hear it. All right, I'm going to destroy this next one. I don't like the way he's looking at me either. Uh, what are we talking about? Oh, yeah, the game. It's fun, right? Like, I have... I have an RTX card. I could play... I could play the new Battlefield with ray tracing. But why would you play Battlefield when you could play this? Right? Surely this has got to be more fun than Battlefield. I mean, have you seen the Battlefield reviews? Right? Everybody's like saying, no, the new Battlefield isn't very good. Where's the bad reviews for Overball? Exactly, you don't see them. You don't see any bad reviews for Overball. Okay, fine. Maybe, maybe if you looked really hard... You could find a niche little YouTube video by some cringy little nine-year-old child who doesn't know what editing is, and he will tell you that Overball is bad. He'll leave a bad review on it. But everyone else, everyone else loves this game. Kess Wame, yeah. Kess Gaming, more like Kess Waming. I mean, it's sad. I should, I should know better than that, right? I should rise to the occasion in a game like this. Being the professional, world-class gamer that I am, right? With all my intense gamer cred. Grab that real quick, okay. Boom, get destroyed. All right, that went much better than the first time around. Just goes to show how practice makes perfect. We're gonna have to open this one up and get the red ones, aren't we? Yes. Got these gems while we're at it. They're more, uh, yeah, more of those things. Okay. Oh, wait, wasn't there a bomb that was closer to them than over here, if I remember correctly? That's right, there's one over, uh, this way. There it is. Nice. Aw, oh, dang it. Didn't get them all. Nice. Dang it, still didn't get them all. Try to get those gold, uh, that gold ball again. Oh, we go up here and unlock the door now. That's right. Game. No, no! <sighs> Children play this. How am I doing this so poorly? Gaming CPUs for latest HD 8K model game and plays 2000 games. <laughs> that will you guess. <laughs> Thanks, Half Life fan. I mean, you get it, man. You're a Half Life fan. Like, why would you play any of the new stuff when there's like countless Half Life mods to play, right? 
Uh, it's just, it's such a great time to be a gamer. You know what I mean? You've got, you've got all the new stuff coming out. You've got a giant catalog of classics like this, right? That you can just find, that people, that aren't even being sold anymore. People have just archived it for free. And then on top of that, you have endless, endless amounts of user-generated content for games. Right? But despite all of that, despite all of that, there's still people who are like, there's nothing to play. I don't have anything to play. You know what I'm saying? Like here, I'll give you a good example. Hold on a second. So this is a video I made like, what, a couple of years ago? Stop say, oh, wrong thing. Stop cast gaming. <laughs> Stop saying there is nothing to play. All right. May yeah, I made this two years ago. I'm playing Agents of Mayhem in it, if you're wondering. The games. No, that's some, some thing somebody else said. Oh, that's my list of games. I said 4,000. It's at 6,000 now. Games out there that's Agents that of Mayhem. That was a fun play. game. Even that was a fun game. Anyway, check the comments, right? These are like new comments. All right, this is from yesterday. There is to play, but it's cancer, big tumor. You probably have a big tumor, sir. This is not a coherent sentence. There is to play, but it's cancer, big tumor. Nothing good to play, not nothing to play. Nothing good? Okay, that good is subjective. Good is what you like. If you only like AAA battle royales that get updates all the time, and you've played five of them and you don't find any more, there's nothing good to play. Well, yeah, maybe you need to broaden your horizons a little bit. Some people don't have the money to blow $100 on a new game. That's one point. Yeah, that's that's one point, all right. One point is stupid. That's what that is. $100. To, who's out here blowing $100 on a new game? All right? You're just talking about Call of Duty. That's what you're talking about, dude. You looked up the price of Call of Duty... And are like, hold up, I can make a I can make a point to argue with this guy. Call of Duty's a hundred dollars, so there's your point. You're an idiot. Anyway. Uh I need another bomb. I need to light a bomb, son. Is there any bombs? Around here? Well, there's that that one's way too far away. Guys, I legit don't think uh you can blow these guys up. There's no, there's no weapon arsenal for your boy. All right, well, I guess we're going to the exit then. Woo! GG. 14 stars. Ah, he popped one. Lam. Oh, goodness. Uh, anyway, ever played Space Taxi 2? Space Taxi 2. I have never played it. It's an authorized sequel of a 1984 game for Commodore 64. Space Taxi by Muse Software, the company behind OG Castle Wolfenstein. Oh, that's cool. I hadn't heard of it. I'll have to check it out. $100? It's 60 for a full price game. This guy's living in a different universe. Right. Exactly. It's... It doesn't even make any sense. It's like, well, not everyone has $100 to blow in a new game. Dude. I'm playing Overball for free. I have a list of like a thousand Doom mods that are free. Get the crap out of here with your $100 a game talk. You're just stupid. You just don't know how to manage your money. That's what it really is. Over trickery. Some areas of Overland are very hazardous. Move slowly and don't fall off. You've done it. Indie game is only a glimpse of hope in gaming community, you know. Well... Only glimpse of hope. I don't know if I would take it that far. Here's what I would say about it. Here's what I would say about it. Indie game developers, they're the true innovators of gaming. Because while big companies, they got marketing budgets, they got publishers to throw them money for doing whatever they need to do, at the same time, they're not trying to do anything too new or too risky, right? Because what if it flops? So they'd rather just stay with what's made the money before. Play it safe, basically. So that's why a lot of the more big name series start to feel stale. But then you have indie games. You know, they don't have any of that. The only way they can stand out and compete is by being new and different. So in that respect, you're right. 
they are the, the main hope for gaming industry, as far as that's concerned, because they're the ones who are really going to innovate, because they have to. That's not to say there isn't some innovation in bigger games, right? You often see, uh, I'll give you an example, Rockstar Games, right? Look at how every time they make a new game, crap, there we go. Every time they make a new game, they're always doing something awesome with whatever model they're going into. Open World Crime Simulator with Grand Theft Auto. Everyone is incredible, right? Everyone's, even if it doesn't revolutionize the genre, it's still usually a really good spin on it. Same with Red Dead Redemption, right? One of the best Western type games out there. Hard to compete with that. Now that's not to say that Rockstar is perfect. Look at Grand Theft Auto Online. Look at the mess that was the Definitive Edition. Stink, look at uh, GTA 5 Expanded and Enhanced. Who asked for that? Literally nobody. But when they actually sit down and make a game, they make a good game. Ugh, anyway. Uh, okay, I get it. Time passed and technology gets advanced, but everything being too realistic with dang shaders and lighting. Like, sometimes I want a cartoony and not real life game wannabe. Well, that's fine. You can talk about art style all day long. There's definitely some people who prefer a more realistic, good looking game. There's people who prefer more of a, more of a very specific art style. Both, both ones have their merits. For example, the more cartoonish art style, generally speaking, tends to age a little bit better. I mean, look at Overball. If it was trying to be realistic, it would have probably aged very poorly. But it's not. And this kind of aesthetic is actually pretty cool. The music, the, the setting, it's nice. It's not anything special, but it's nice. Nice. Uh, this way? Yeah, let's go. Alright. Anyway, but still big companies make masterpieces too, so it depends on your perspective. It does. It does. Like, another good example, right? You're a Half-Life fan. You know what a masterpiece Half-Life Alex was. I haven't played it. I haven't played any of the Half-Life games, so I don't know from personal experience. But I know just from hearing people talk about it how good not only the old Half-Lifes are, but the new one, too. But again, we can... We all know that Valve is really not a company that cares about making video games much anymore because they don't really need the money. Whenever they make a game, at least as it is has been recently, it's always been to push something else. Half-Life Alex was to push their VR headsets, Aperture Desk Job, which was a tech demo, but still, basically a great free half an hour of a portal television show. That was kind of what I got out of it, and it was great. That was for the Steam Deck that released. It goes to show that Valve can and will still make good games when they want to. they just rather not unless it's to promote something else that they're doing. At least that seems to be my takeaway from it. But Valve's kind of an odd anomaly in the gaming sphere anyway. I mean, they're not... Oh, oh no. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, crap. Okay, that was, that was way too close. That was way too close. All right, we're good. All good, guys. This level's really weird. All the shapes and stuff. I like it. This one's a little bit more unique, but still. Grab these gems real quick. Go up here. Pink flowers. All right. Whoop. Light a bomb. Whoop. Beautiful. Can't give up. And never let your, and never gonna let you down. Oh, oh, you're trying to do a Rick, a Rick World parody. Okay. Hey, Half-Life fan, I know a game that's cartoony that'd be good for you. Fortnite. <laughs> well, okay. Now, now hold on a second, Troy. I know you're making a joke, but you're actually onto something there. Fortnite is a really is another good example, in my opinion, of uh, big game company type mis mismanagement, right? The original Fortnite, Fortnite Save the World, is actually a really good game. Very fun. Or at least it was at one point. That game was all about tower defense, uh, zombie, zombie, tower defense, cooperative, building, got some RPG elements. But it was a tower defense game, 
with zombies, right? It was more, they more started working on it in the era when zombie games were really popular back when like Minecraft was blown up. But when it came out, it was still a really good game. The problem was it wasn't very popular. Nobody really played it much or talked about it. Just kind of went under the radar until they tacked on the Battle Royale mode, which originally was just to try to promote Fortnite Save the World, but then everybody just played that instead, so they're like, well, stink. We'll just, uh, we'll just develop this and learn how to make money with this. And then they just left Fortnite Save the World essentially dead in the water. Now, for me, that was a bummer because Fortnite Save the World is way better game than Fortnite Battle Royale. But on the other hand, way more people enjoyed it. Way more people had a great experience and great memories with that than probably they ever would have if they hadn't gone that route. So who's to say that wasn't the right choice, even though a much better game kind of got, you know, abandoned as a result. It's not a very black and white issue. So, I prefer strategy games like uh, Europa Universalist 4 and FPS games like Doom, preferably GZ Doom. Can't blame you, those are good, good games and good genres. Look at Saints Row 2. It's kind of cartoony and it aged very well. There's still a lot of people that play it to this day. Honestly, Troy, I'd kind of have to disagree with you, dude. I don't think Saints Row 2 was trying to be cartoony. I think it was trying to be pretty realistic. The fact is, though, that back then that's kind of what realism looked like. Well, no. No, it, it was. It was trying to be realistic, but it wasn't... It wasn't like GTA 4 levels of realism. Then again, it didn't have GTA 4's budget either, so. I wouldn't really think of that as cartoony. Agents of Mayhem would be a much better example of something that's cartoony. So, I think the reason people still play Saints Row 2 isn't because the game's graphics have aged well, or because the game's a technical masterpiece. It's probably one of the most buggy ones in the series. It's just that Saints Row 2 is fun. <laughs> that's really what it boils down to. There's a time and place for everything, and he had arguments. Do not have a time and place in chats. First here, I had to have fun and banter, no need for any negativity. I didn't think anyone was being negative um, about it. I thought we were just having a discussion about uh, game industry practices. Um, what you're talking about, he had arguments and everything, that would be like if somebody said, well, I think this, and somebody else was like, well, I think this, and the first guy was like, well, you're stupid, and I don't care what you say. That, that would be a he had argument. And a petty one, too. The game crashed. Guys, the game literally crashed. D did we win? Does that mean it's over? Early Serious Sam games have a, decently car have a decent cartoony style, too. Yeah, no, they do. That's a good example. Although some people argue they went a bit overboard with Serious Sam 2. I can say I enjoyed the direction there. That's funny. I was just watching a G-Man Wives video... Uh, yesterday where he criticized that very thing Okay, that was map 11 over trickery, so I don't think Dude, do I have to do the whole level over again? Bro, the game crashed on me and I have to do the whole level over again Lame Wow guys That stinks. Okay. Well Guess we better get to it then all right. I've... Oh, wow. This, this shouldn't be this difficult. How do I suck this much? Oh my gosh. Okay. All right. All right. I need to quit talking about game industry practices. It's making me a less effective flower... I freaking hate that top. I cannot wait to blow its brains out with this bomb. Stupid garbage top. I, I love how I'm mad at a top of all things. Oh yeah, we gotta go over there and grab those, don't we? Uh... There we go. That was lame. That was really lame, guys. Uh, anyway. Oh no, call the ambulance, the game crashed. The PC can't handle the ball momentums anymore, it crashed. Yeah, yeah, you're right. We can we can do ray tracing in Battlefield, but over ball is where it draws the line. <laughs> yeah, that's just, that's just asking a little bit much. We might have to wait till the next generation of of hardware in order to run this, this technical masterpiece. 
Oh, that's funny. Okay. Hold up. This is gonna be tricky. There. Oh, man, that makes me so mad. Oh, this freaking level. Okay. Let's uh, go past this thing and grab these gems real quick. There we go. All right, that time we made it. I'll tell you what we're gonna do. We're gonna real gently, real gentle. There you go. All right, can I grab this other, can I grab this? Can I blow up this other top? The one that killed me a million times. There you go. Oh, that made me feel better. All right, let's plant some more flowers and continue. Anyway, another L. You can say Cass is getting over-tricked. Overzealous, probably. Nice. Sean Sweet Johnson, welcome. Wow, I just suck, that's the problem. Some areas in Overland are very hazardous. Move slowly and don't fall down. Wow, thanks for the info. Wish I'd thought of that. I really should be getting this triggered over this game. Okay. Yes. Yes. Okay. Perfect. Let's grab these. Okay. We gotta blow up that bottle cap over there. Uh, is this, is this another 90s nostalgic game? Uh, this actually came out in the early 2000s, I think, dude. But it sure is nostalgic. At least it is for me, anyway. I played this game like very briefly, like just a couple of levels of it when I was a kid. And I always wanted to stream it, but I really never just had the, um, the opportunity to, I guess. I go back and, like I went back and found it, but I just didn't play it. Cause I was like, oh, I'll stream it sometime. I never did. So, but then I decided I'd bring back the uh, casual Saturdays where we just do like some something different for the sake of variety. And I was like, what a perfect way to start it off then to go back and revisit Overball. So that's what we're doing. Dude, I thought I could jump that. That wasn't me being an idiot. I legit thought I could jump that. Well, maybe, well, I guess I, that could still be me being an idiot, but wasn't trying to be an idiot. <laughs> then again, who is? Let's be honest. Why? Come on! Ah! I swear, if I have to hit can- ARE YOU SERIOUS?! I hate this level! I hate it so much! Even when I completed it, it didn't give me credit. It just crashed the game. Ugh. Ugh. Alright, Cass, my phone's at 2%. Lagging real hard. Uh-oh, you better charge it in, buddy. This game sucks. All right, got past that guy. Let's, uh, let's grab this. All right, grab that. Up here and grab the other ball. There you go, there you go. Up here, up here, go, 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 go. Yes! All right, we got him. Nice, one more flower. Okay, we gotta get rid of the bottle cap next because he's destroying the flowers. Get destroyed, bottle cap. All right. Plant more red flowers. Ooh, beautiful. All right, let's go back over here. I right, give Half-Life fan a charger. Yeah, let's give our boy a charger, guys. Oh, man. Anyway, I think it was 2003 or 2002 when it came out. I was in middle school then. Were you? Huh. Middle school. Oh yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, you said it was on your school computers, didn't you? Oh, I missed one. I was missing one. It was one flower off. Why wouldn't that open for us? That makes sense. Cats raging complications. Bro, chill out. Be like Snorlax. Chillwax. Who is Snorlax? Never heard of that. Is that another YouTuber? That'd be funny. I really wanted that star. Okay, hold up. Grab the bomb. Boom, get destroyed. All right, we're doing better now, guys. We're not, I'm back in the zone. I'm concentrating, we're not falling any pits. I'm not being a doofus. I think, I think it's going real good. 
All right, more red flowers, though. More red flower time. Beautiful. Beautiful. Be no! No! Come on! Enter your name here. I don't want to. Do you want to post your high score online? No. It doesn't even exist anymore. Go away. <sighs> Crap. We gotta start that whole stupid level over again. The collection mode button doesn't even work anymore. There we go. What is this level? Imagine how easier this is if it was played on console. What are you talking about? That how would why would that make it any easier? It would be exactly the same. Or just worse. Actually, this is such a low This is such a a non-demanding game. This would probably run just equally well on a console. Honestly, at least a modern console. Honestly, this could have been a PlayStation 2 game, but it wouldn't have been easier. Would have been the same. Are you just assuming they would have dumbed it down for a console version? I don't I don't I don't see it, man. There you go. I need those chimps. That's the one thing giving me extra lives. Dang it. Which I clearly desperately need. Alright, grab the bomb. Blow these fools up. Crap. Crap! No! <gasps> that was so close. That was so close. That was like scary levels of close. My gracious. Alright, go grab this. Nice. Alright, we still have the bottle cap. Can't forget the bottle cap. Uh, crap. Oh, I'm trying so hard. Nice. Okay. With that done, really, I only have one star. Sad. All right, you know what the good news is though? I still have two lives left. And I got plenty of, well, the problem with continues is you still have to start the whole freaking level over again. It almost begs the question, what's the point? What's the bloody point? Can I go down here now? No, I gotta plant yellow flowers first. Okay. Now let me guess, there's a buggy in here we need to destroy, right? Yep. And by buggy, I'm at Q. All right, so go in here next. Guess that's another thing we're gonna need to use the bomb on. Hold up. There we go. Good deal. Okay, I think this is actually the furthest. Oh wait, no, I forgot. I actually finished this level one time, remember? Remember, there was a point in time when I actually finished this level. Like half an hour ago. <laughs> I've just been stuck on here for what feels like forever, but probably isn't, let's be honest. This is like the dark. Ah! Ladies and gentlemen, the Dark Souls of Overball. <laughs> That's what this level is. Uh. Imagine some six year old comes along right now and just shows me up completely. How funny would that be? Why am I having so much trouble with this? It's not that hard. No matter how slow Kess plays, it gets so much worse. Uh, that's true. Well, with the joystick, it's probably easier to control than WASD. Not a PC player, honestly, so I don't know what's the control. Yeah, yeah, you, d you do not, my friend. That's, uh, no, no. We're, we're, pl we're controlling this with a mouse. And I, and I don't see any reason why we couldn't simply just connect a controller or a joystick and use that if we'd rather. So. Uh, let's grab these flowers right here real quick. Mm, go up the side here.
Nice. Okay, we got, what, one more bug? Yeah, the bottle cap, that's right. Okay, I'm gonna try, my main priority now is just not falling off of things. At least I remember where that trap is. Now, I'm gonna have like this level memorized by the time we actually get this done. I'll probably be able to do it in my sleep. Kes got another L. Yeah, sure did. Alternative title, getting over it, but the character's a ball. Uh, getting over it. Classic. That was a fun game. Also a rage-inducing game. I think everybody that played that game hated it. I know I did. But what's funny is after you finish it, you love it. It's like one of those weird love-hate relationship games. Kind of like Dark Souls, probably. I don't know. I like a challenge in games. Even when I don't, I do. It's... Again, a weird relationship. Uh, go over here. Hit this guy. Boom. Beautiful. Uh, this ball is stupid. <laughs> Controls like a block of cement. You know what else? You know what's crazy, guys? Somewhere out there... Some nine-year-old kid got like a gold ball on this level and went a walked away from the experience thinking it was easy. All right, we're gonna go nice and slow here, okay? There you go. No, no, no! Okay, all right, we're good. All right, this is gonna be a very special jump. I told you it was a special jump, okay. Nice and gentle, nice and gentle. I need some more gems, guys. Extra life, you know what I'm saying? Good. Nice and gentle. Okay. We got another gold star. What's over here? Blue ones. Okay. All right, we're good. We're good. We just need to be careful. We just need to be careful. I don't even care about stars anymore. I just care about completion. Okay. Okay, we're good. We're good. Just be gentle. Nice and chill. Oh man. This This makes Dark Souls look like a walk in the park, ladies and gentlemen. It's it really does. It's, it's incredible. Okay. Alright, hold up. More yellow ones. Alright, we missed a couple. There you go. Yes! Yes, we made it! There's the end! Yes! Yes! You're in the bronze. Oh, finally, and it saved our progress. Okay, I am so glad to be done with that level. I'm so glad. Oh, man. That took forever. Oh, man. Ultimate Spider... Um, Ultimate Spider-Man Total Mayhem is an amazing game. Shame it's no longer available. Oh, that's a, that's a shame. I hate when games end up not being available. Like this. But, you know, at least this is archived. Hmm. If Kaz can focus without taking the chance of completing this level will be high. <laughs> oh man. Anyway, let's uh, continue. This area of the over desert used to be an overball. Wait. This area of the over desert used to be an. Oh, used to be an. That's so close together. Does that look like bean to anyone else? This area of the over desert used to be. That's what it. That's what it reads like. This area of the over desert used to be an overball race course. Look out for the jumps. An overball race course. Really? That's what this game is lacking, guys. A multiplayer mode where you can race overballs with your friends. I mean, this game could have been the next Mario Kart, and it it lost its chance. It's, uh, this looks like the uh. This looks like that ziggurat level a little bit. A little bit. Nice, I'm gonna have to find a bomb for that, aren't I? Push that bridge down there for a second. Are there any bombs over here? Oh no, this is where we came from. Yeah, that will not do at all. Where's a bomb? Here we go. Excuse me, sir, I take issue with your treatment of my flowers. Oh. 
books. The, uh, yeah, that the bomb. Kind of mistimed that a little bit. more red flowers. Okay. So we gotta get all the red ones, and then before we get the gold ones, go grab bomb real quick. Ooh, check this out. Oh, there's two of them. What? It didn't blow Why didn't it blow them up? I don't know. It just didn't. Crap, dang it. Getting so caught in between those pillars. Oh my gosh. Controlling this thing. There's too much stuff to get caught on. All right, here we go. Here we go. There you go. Had to be real fast with it. Stink, I missed a flower. There you go. All right, we gotta go back this way. It used to bean over ball race course. GGW. Hey, thanks, guys. Thanks for the GGs. All right, who are we beaning right now? Kes be beaning. Let's start beaning Kes. <laughs> Kes dying inside for real. A little bit, yeah. Uh, Kes, you gonna bean or no? Why are you guys saying bean? You must have missed it, Plasma. You must have missed it. So you had to, you had to be there, man. Let's just put it that way. No! Oh, that was total BS. That was that was ridiculous. Oh crap! 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 No crap again. Oh no! No! No, we're fine. Oh, I knew we were fine. I'm just I'm just a really good actor. Okay, let's go down here next. Nice, that was good. Okay, we missed one pink flower over there. We'll go back for that one, but first. Is there a bomb near this? Yes, there is. Switch. Okay, let's try that again. Back over here. Really? Really? That is so stupid. That is so freaking stupid. That is like the dumbest. Okay, to be fair, to be fair, I did do it wrong. That was on me, because I went up that thing when clearly you're supposed to go that way. So that that was kind of my bad. That was, I kind of took the L on that one, but that's okay. That is perfectly okay, because we're not gonna die again. Check it, it's not gonna happen. There's gonna be no dying. There almost was some dying there. Okay, we're good. Oh, no, 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 no dying. Literally just said, all right, we gotta go. I gotta go take that guy out. All right, here we go. Here we go, it's bomb time. Crap, crap. Ah, oh, the controls are garbage! Ugh. Oh man, I tried. Mr. Bean is just cast in disguise. I don't speak French, that's the problem with that theory. Oh, and he didn't either, that's right. Never mind. Uh, that was actually, I forgot that was part of the plot point of the whole movie. Okay, let's go over here. Whoop, 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 whoop. Nice. There you go. Two gems. All the red flowers. All the red ones first. Oh. 
Why? What the crap? Guess I just gotta be slower. Again, why is the bomb not blowing him up? Maybe it blew up when I was right next to him. I'm telling you guys, the game starts off easy. But eventually it just turns you into a raging man-child. Don't take my word for it, it's in the description. Download it and play it yourself. Struggle. Weep, just as I do. Then you'll know what it truly means to be a man. Uh, okay, for real, I gotta, gotta plant the rest of these flowers. Thank you guys for the eight likes, by the way. An explosion of bells. Oh man, all right. What else we got? What else we got? Does this door open? Yes, it does. Okay, here's the gym section again. Can I get them? Probably. They give me extra lives, so I really need to. No, no! Oh, I'm an idiot! I am an idiot! Why did I do that? Ugh. All right, let's try it again. I wait. I was trying to go too fast, and I very much overcompensated, which is why I went off the edge there. Now we're good, though. Now we're good. Okay. Back over here. Uh, <laughs> and your username. No. Go away, you stupid game. Ugh. Okay. Let's try this again. <laughs> Daredevil trickery. More like Daredevil trashery. Yeah, that was lame. Red flowers. I get all the red flowers. Hit the bridge. Hit the bridge. Wait for it to come down. Have this bomb. Go blow up the little weird cube bug that's probably bullying your brother. Oh. Well. I tried. Ugh! I swear, rolling around those pillars, guys. It's an infuriating mess. It's an infuriating mess of a game. <sighs> okay. Okay, I'm just gonna grab this. That's what I'm, I'm just gonna grab it. That's, that's what I'm gonna do. Yes, finally, okay. Okay, okay, no, no, no. I'm not going off the edge again. I'm not doing it. This level and the last one, they're just mm, rage inducing. You just you just drop off the edge at the dumbest possible reasons. I don't even want those stupid gems anymore. I really do though at the same time. That's the problem. It's, that's really what the problem is guys. It's like when you want something but you really don't want something. That's what the real problem is. Okay, real gentle, we're gonna be gentle and slow the whole way through, except when we need to not be. If that doesn't make sense, it will. Okay, well. There, now does it make, no, no, no. There, we made it, okay, all good. Now let's go down this straight. Nice, that was actually more or less perfect, I think. Okay, now we need to go back up to the side, go up this up the lift. All right, I think I think we've got it this time, guys. I think we're good. Whew. Imagine at some point, guess Kes gets so angry he smashes his keyboard. Uh, I mean, don't get me wrong, man. I've I've gotten angry at stuff before, but smashing your own equipment doesn't make any sense. So that's a silly way to express your anger, and an expensive way for that matter. 
I mean, if you want to, if you want to destroy something, have something disposable that you don't mind getting wrecked. But don't destroy your equipment. That's just wasteful. Have a little bit better self-control than that. Goodness sakes. Uh, I'll tell you what. Let's grab this. Nice. There you go. What the? What? What is this? What is this crap? No! Ugh! Dude! Oh, this level is such BS. Ugh! <laughs> you have to go so hard to get up that hill to get the ball, and then you just roll off of it. Ugh! Try again. Goodness sakes. We got one more. Beautiful. All right, bomb. Right there. Right there. I don't know why it does that. It's this. It's always this one particular bottle cap, too. You'll get, like, right up to it, and it will blow up but not do anything to it. It's like it's got partial bomb immunity or something. That needs to be a new, like, superpower. Right? I want to see someone in the Marvel's Justice League who just has partial bomb immunity. And that's his whole superpower. Be incredible. That's the creativity Marvel needs to spice things up a bit. Cash, your portal stream is getting close. Oh, yeah, thank you for reminding me of that plasma. Here's what I'm gonna do. We're not we're not quite close to finishing this yet, so I'm just gonna delay the portal stream by like an hour or so. Uh Alright. Delaying this for an hour, for an hour so we can finish Overball. For an hour so we can finish Overball. In case anyone goes to this stream and is like, why was it not started? Now they'll have a reason. Uh, edit video, 11 a.m., 12 p.m. Thanks, Plasma. All right, let that save and get back to work. All right. Why don't you go through the speed thing in order to get to the top of the hills? The speed thing was going the other way. So, that's why. I was trying to get to the bomb. I did that effortlessly that time. I made it look easy. Dang, I'm almost a little impressed and a little shocked. Oh man. Anyway, chill songs, frustrating gameplay. Perfectly balanced as it should be. True. Very true. I mean, it's a good game. You just have to keep your cool and get used to the controls. Really used to them. Missed one flower. Almost did that whole segment perfectly, but I missed one little flower. Oh boy. We need, uh, oh, you know what? I forgot the bombs on the other side. Never mind. Yeah, you gotta get this bomb. That's right. Nice. There you go. Okay. Hold on. I'm gonna lower this bridge first. I know we're gonna need the bomb. I just... Better to do it after we lower the bridge. <laughs> nice. No! Dude. Oh, man. I That was... Hey. That was pretty far. I got pretty far before I ended up getting hurt. So... Props to me, I guess. 
Uh, let's take this bomb with us just in case we have the chance to use it. Yeah, I didn't think we would. Whoop. Careful, careful, careful. There you go. Woo! All right, we're doing this so much better, guys. Oh, it's great, okay. All right, be gentle, gentle, careful, careful. Okay, one more, nice. Okay, all right, I am really nervous about this because we've got, how much more is there? I don't know, I don't know. There you go. Can I get these? How would you even get those? They're on the wall. Oh, wait, I know how. I, I see now. Beautiful, beautiful. We're gonna get an extra life, boys. Just you wait and see. We just need two more gems and we'll get an extra life. Nice. Two more gems in here? Uh-huh. Uh, no, not so much. Oh, here they are. One hit, no, no! That was close. Gentle, gentle, no, there's too much gravity. There's too much, no, 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 other way, other way. All right, one more, one more. Yeah, extra life, let's go. Can I get a GG, boys? That was great. Oh, I think that's the exit right there. Let's just point the rest of these flowers. GG, guys. Oh, boy. Okay. Uh. That was intense. I don't even care that I got bronze. Nice. Careful, Kess. GG. Thanks, Sean. Double you. Appreciate it, dude. Oh, that was fun. All right, let's keep going. Mm. Requiem. Ooh, scary. This level in the haunted over forest has many scary cliffs and jumps. Watch your step. This music sounds familiar. Guys, I think this is just like generic scary video game background music that you could license or whatever, because I swear I've heard this in other games before. I don't know, this is kind of spooky. This is a different tone than I was expecting. Like legit. <laughs> Just back, GG, Kess. Thanks, Half-Life fan. Did you finally find a charger, buddy? Took me a long time to get through that level. GG, Goose Gun. Goose Gun. Oh, do you guys remember uh, the Untitled Goose Game? That would be a fun thing to stream on casual Saturdays. I could see that being a, a good choice. I always thought that'd be a fun game to play, but I'd like I said, I never had the occasion. No! -ho! Dang it. Can't even get mad at the game for that. That was all me. Crap. All right, hold on. All the spooky vibes are throwing me off my game. That's what it is. That's what it is. I think this sounds more somber than it is scary. Um, yeah. Yeah, you're, you're probably right about that. Eight blue flowers in order to lower that. Oh. There you go. That's more, that's definitely more than eight. Ooh, there's some gems back over here. It's gonna be tough getting to them, but we'll be nice and gentle. Nope. Nice, I did it. Okay. Got all of them, you can tell, because there's no more glowing crystal effects or anything. Uh, let's get these last two blue flowers. Oh, three, actually. Last three blue flowers. Here's another gem. We've got seven. Make that nine gems. All right, let's go through this door, or through the door. Across the bridge now. What I meant to say. Untitled Goose Game. The Goose Duck Games. I don't know what Goose Duck Games are, but yeah, Untitled Goose Game. Every scary soundtrack always has the chill bell jingle. That's true, it does, doesn't it? What's this for? Oh! Crap, I actually knew what it was for and then I ruined it. Hold up. Oh, it's... 
Well, I still ruined it. Let's go to that little yellow flower place. Uh, let's try that again. Wait a minute. Yeah, yeah, let's try it again. I was like, did I skip something? But no, I don't think we did. Go down here. Dude! Oh, you have to do it like perfectly straight. Nah. Nah, we didn't get very far anyway. <laughs> Probably doesn't set the best tone, does it? <laughs> when, you're, when your sentiment is, well, we didn't make it that far anyway. the wall when you're going up these things. Okay, so... Blue flowers. I didn't get all of them, but I got a good little start. We'll get some pink ones. Can't forget all about the magical crystals. The magical crystal palace, as it were. All right, so we got crystals over there. We got some more blue flowers. Well, we'll go over and deal with this first. Nice. Okay. What I'm curious about is how do we get up here and up over there, right? And we'll go over here first. Get the rest of these. Maybe, maybe you have to progress a little bit more to get over there. I don't know. Here, we'll go back to this bridge now. Why does this Deacon soundtrack sound like a movie trailer? Well, probably because it's using the same licensed music that the movie trailer would use, that's why. Dude, ah, oh, you have to hit this like perfectly straight. All right, let's try it again. Okay, not quite. Not quite that time. Not quite. Cass, do you know who is Alpha Kenny Body? No, I've never heard of that. Nice. Wait, this is the end! Really? But what about the other lift and the other crystals? Guess we'll never know. You earn the normal score multiplier. Next level, none. Collect three stars for the bronze ball. Dude, I didn't even make bronze? That's embarrassing. Treacherous Traverse. This upper level of the over temple has many narrow pathways. Watch out. That's not the greatest sign ever. Oh, the music just went back to the starting level because it's Japan again. For a second, I just thought there was no music because I didn't hear anything. No, it's just that same Japanese-type music they already had. Ah, dang it. I like whatever it is, though. It's peaceful. Even though it's called Treacherous Traverse. Hey, we're right. There's a lot of narrow pathways over here. I don't know why I'm still taking the bomb. I don't really need it anymore. Got to get more red flowers. 26. And that said, I needed 78. That might be the exit or something. I bet you. Oh, crap. I'm running out of lives really quickly. That's pretty short. At what level are you at now, Kess? I'm not entirely sure, dude. I want to say level 13 or 14, somewhere around there. But I'm not entirely sure. Okay, surely there's a bomb around here a little closer than that other one, right? In addition to being treacherous, the blue things don't really help. Oh, no! Dang it. Oh, another game crashed again. Crap! I saw it freeze for a second. I was like, oh, no. Crash inbound. Okay, we gotta start the level over, boys. Who here knows about Vib Ribbon? Never heard of that either. I just tricked Cass somehow. Because you said, do you know who Alpha Kenny body is? And I said no. And that was you tricking me? Dude, that's sad. That's pathetic. You know what? You know what? That is so lame. I'm actually putting you in timeout for that. 
Yeah, you have five minutes to think about your life and get your crap together. Goodness sakes. Anyway, let's go back. Let's go back. To level 14 Half-Life fan. That's what we're on. Anyway. The game is so RTX your PC could not handle. I know, right? I mean, look at the ray tracing on that water. It's immaculate. Grand Theft Auto wishes it could look that good. I missed that other gym, didn't I? Can I get back up there? I'm not actually sure if you can. I don't, I don't see any way to get back up there. Nice. Ah, there's the bomb we need. Wait a minute. Oh yeah, that was here last time. I just didn't go far enough to see it. Oh, I got a, I got a bomb and then picked up another one immediately. That was great. Beautiful. Beautiful. Okay. Nice. Uh, grab that. Sweet. Missed a couple, didn't I? Yes. Yes, I did. This is gonna be a big elevator ride. Maybe this will take me back to the beginning. It will, I can get that other gym now. Lovely. Cannot comprehend the details and graphics. Plus, it's giga coding, truly a game of all time. <laughs> 7.8 IGN. Oh, uh, you know what? We still can't get that crystal. Lame. Would have loved a fourth life. Sure, it would have come in handy knowing me. Oh, that actually worked pretty good. Problem is, the tops are gonna pop it. Oh, maybe not. Honestly, can't even tell. No, I don't think they are. They're probably not, because there's no bombs around to blow them up. Oh, no. No, he got one. He definitely got one. Yeah, we opened the door. Who cares? We did what we came to do. I'm not... I can't be around to babysit the flowers, for goodness sakes. I planted them. I did my job! Crap. Uh, okay. Be a little more careful here. This is a pretty slick area. Okay, Avi, no! Dude, it's the same spot! I did it in the same spot! Oh, crap. It's this stupid blue stuff. Okay, we gotta go nice and slow. Nice and slow, I've gotta go through that door. There you go. My gosh, that should not have been that difficult. go. Get the rest of them before they start popping stuff. Nice. Oh, look. More crystals. Oh, look. They're all here on, like, the edges. Right around the, uh... Right around the exit. I can get another life before I leave. If I can get, if I can pick up two more crystals anyway. This is great. What a cool way of adding crystals to the end of the game. I gotta go up to the edges and get one. That's dangerous though, because I could fall off the edge and just as quickly lose the level. But then again, if I went to the next level with no lives. No! I'm an idiot. I should have just, I should have just exited. I should have just exited. I don't know why I did that. Ugh. Too much water, 7.8 out of 10. First we had Half-Life, now we have Fourth Life. <laughs> Overball is one of the games of all time. The mechanics are there, the gameplay's there, the sounds, and the soundscape exists. Yeah. See, you get it, Fiery Wind. I, honestly, guys, I am not the least bit disappointed I decided to stream this today. This was an excellent choice. Like, this ended up being so much better than I thought it was gonna be. I was like, I was thinking, well, hopefully this will be a fun game and it won't be too short, right? No, no, this is great. This is great. Good. Oh, 
Oh crap, 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 crap. <laughs> oh, I tried so hard. Uh, okay. Oh, I'm not gonna get a bomb down here. What am I thinking? Just go, no! It's the same spot! It's the stupid blue squares. Oh, I hate the blue squares so much. The blue squares just suck. All right, hold up, hold up, hold up. Nope, nope, nice and gentle. Nice and gentle, grab the bomb. No! What was that? What was, th that was total garbage. That was absolute trash. Boniassi, welcome. Oh, I remember playing this game a few years back, did you? You played Overball? That's cool, man. I played this like when I was really, really young. I'm not even sure where we got it from. My father just downloaded it onto one of his computers. And my brother and I played this while he and my mother were packing up stuff to move it. And that's how I learned about Overball. I only played like a level or two, but there's like several levels in here. I think there's 18 based on the menu layout. But I honestly don't know for sure. Okay. Okay. These blue squares are really getting on my nerves. <laughs> and that's why. And that's exactly why. <laughs> and now you understand the reasons. Uh, okay. Alright, we're gonna make it. We killed all the buggies. We just gotta get the rest of the flowers. Eh, well, we kill all the bugs in this area anyway. Okay. Nice and gentle. Nice and slow. Keep her steady. I gotta, I gotta, I gotta be the ball. I'm gonna feel the ball. Gotta be the ball deep down in. Here we go. Wait for it. Wait for it. Beautiful. New, 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 new. Okay, we're good. We're good. We're good. Yes, yes. I don't even care. The whole table's shaking. That was totally worth it. Okay. All right, we did it. GG. I mean, not GG. We didn't finish the level, but still, that was good progress. Hey, at least we opened this door up. Now we have 78 flowers. Uh, <laughs> I just rethink about my miserable life when I get a low grade in every test and every grade I enter. Maybe you don't test well. Maybe you're a poor student. Could be a number of things. Blue square are everyone's worst nightmare. Even slipping on a banana is more merciful than slip on the blue squares. <laughs> yeah, yeah, basically. Imagine if that was another mechanic they added in here, right? Bananas. So like if you if you rolled over one, it just made you like go go spiraling off in any given direction. That combined with the blue squares, that could be like a hard mode challenge. You know what I mean? Like that should be DLC. All right, wild tangent. Call up the people who made this game, okay? I know they're still around. I've looked them up. They make mobile games now. Have them ha commission a DLC for this. You know, 15 years after the fact. Call it Overball Banana Badness. That'll be the name of the DLC, okay? And it'll just be like really un unduly difficult levels. Where there's new ones, but the added mechanic is now there's bananas. Crap! Dude, I ran right into that. Why? If one continue left. Dang, nabbit. Oh, this is making me crazy. Fun fact, the stereotype of banana skins being slippery comes from the now extinct gross gene banana type. This isn't exactly the case in the now more prevalent Cavendish type. Oh, I didn't know that, that's interesting. Touch blue squares to instantly die. That sounds more like Portal, actually. Like they're a, oh, that was a terrible beginning. Can I restart? No, I can't. Lame. Um, anyway, yeah, that was a, that sounds more like Portal, like the blue squares are like electric and they fry you if you get on them. That sounds like Portal, man. There's the top, he's coming for the flowers. I was like, where'd he go? I see where now. Uh, I'm sad I can't get those gems, but you know what, I don't care. Let's just go. Crap! It, it really shouldn't be that hard. It really shouldn't. Ugh. You know what? You know what else is sad? I started at the beginning and I still didn't get the gems. Kind of forgot about them, honestly. All right, here. Get these flowers. Get that. Nice. Okay, get the bomb. 
Oh, it didn't blow him up. That was awkward. Alright, grab that. Oh, no, 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 no. Go back. Go back. Grab this. There you go. That's better. Nice. Nice. No! <sighs> Freaking blue squares, dude. I hate them so much. All right, at least we got our gems that time. That's that's one good thing to come of that. Here's some more gems. Oh, oh, he's going over there ripping up my flowers. Okay, okay, I see what it be. No, no, I almost fell off the edge there. There you go. Finally got him that time. All right, I think we're good, guys. Let's see if we can continue. Sean says, all right, Kes, gotta go now, bye. All right, have a good one, Sean. See you at the top. Some old casual PC games are still sold by their developers, uh, with a few of them even being updated for newer OSs. That's true, that's true, good ex- 78, oh, I missed some. I missed some red flowers among the blue squares. <laughs> yeah, that figures. Okay, um, oh, okay, I see two of them already, probably ones that got ripped up. Uh, that's true though, dude. Like, for example, Feeding Frenzy 1 is abandonware, right? You can't even buy it anymore. But Feeding Frenzy 2, you can buy that on Steam right now if you want to. And that works with Windows 10 like perfectly right out of the box. The resolution's a little off and it'll resize it, but I mean, other than that. Um, okay, I'm still missing. Oh crap, I see it. I see the flower I missed. It was right up here the whole time. All right, we gotta be gentle. Gentle, gentle! Not towards the corner, you stupid beach ball. Okay, okay. Over here, over here, there you go. All right, we got all 78 that we need. Whew. Okay. Doom, a game where the gameplay is relaxing but the soundtrack isn't. Um, I think calling Doom's gameplay relaxing, I think that's honestly a personality thing, dude. I think some people would find Doom's gameplay relaxing, others would find it energizing, and then others still would find it exhausting. I think that's more of a personality thing. All right, I don't know how many we need to hit to open the door. I need to be really careful around the tops. No! I, I just said I needed to be careful. Ah! Oh. I don't want to post my horse high score online. I can't even do that if I wanted to, not really. I think there's like four more levels after this, believe it or not. All right. We're gonna make it this time, guys. It's crazy how some levels in here are like super short and fairly easy, right? And you can get them done like one try, more or less, or even if it's a, more than one try, it's, it's so short you don't even notice. But other ones like this, you get like stuck on something and it's just, it just feels so difficult even though it's really not. Like you can see right now I'm doing it and I'm doing it fine. Whereas a few minutes ago I was struggling doing the exact same thing. Isn't that weird how games are like that? It's like getting over it. Getting over it's the exact same way. You struggle for 10 plus hours to climb the mountain your first time. By the 10th time you're doing it, you can climb that mountain in 20 minutes. It's remarkable. I think so anyway. Uh, okay. We have gotten 74 flowers. Are there any more over here? No. Okay, that means, oh, you stupid. Okay, we'll go back around. That means we're missing four. Funny thing is I once slept by listening to the Doom OST, so yes, I approve your quote. <laughs> really? <laughs> I feel like some of the more competitive players can make use of the ring enemies in order to farm stars. Wait, I feel like some of the more competitive players can make use of the ring enemies in order to farm stars for the golden ball. Fiery Wind, great observation, buddy. But the thing is, the game, the game has that already thought of that. There's a mechanic in place where if the flowers have been like squashed, by the bugs prior, 
even if there's enough flowers that are squashed where you could do the whole little melody pattern again, it won't give you a gold star if you've already gotten one with those flowers. It doesn't count them towards that. I don't know why. Well, I mean, I do actually, it's so that it wouldn't abuse it in place. It seems like such, it seems like that would be such a simple oversight too, but they actually caught it. A lot of care for such a casual game. So, now I guess I could be wrong about that, but I'm pretty sure I tried that very thing a couple of levels back and it was not at all the case. But I guess, I guess some more testing would be in order. I don't know. Give it a download and tell me if, if you, if you managed to figure out a way to do that. Okay, avoid the top, be nice and careful. Okay, it, it, oh dang it. Destroyed a couple of them. One, which one did I miss? I'm at 65 out of 66. Oh, come on! That was stupid. Okay, there's two right here. Ah, that was the one. Okay, one more, this one. All right, open the door. No! Every time, guys. Every time. I did like that first segment flawlessly, and then here I'm just dying to the same top a million times. Ah! I'm doing all my hard work, you stupid top. All right, hold on. There you go. Okay, we're good. Nice and gentle. Nice and gentle, because we're near the blue thing. It, it, it destroyed some more pink flowers, but I don't care. I'm good. Where's the bomb for these guys? Oh, here it is. Four enemies to take care of. I didn't think about it earlier, but that actually kind of seems like a lot. No. Oh, that was close. I almost fell off. I almost fell off. I think we're good, though. Oh, man. Anyway. Oh, that sucks. Nice prevention of oversight from the developer, though. I know, right? Like, for such a simple game, it really feels like a lot of care and attention went into it. You know what I mean? Especially considering, like, how many games come out nowadays. Especially in the casual market that are just not... Particular, there's not a whole lot of quality control, you know what I mean? Also, if you're wondering why I'm backtracking, I'm fairly confident we missed a flower, but I can't figure out where. Oh, I see it, I see it. Hold up, hold up, hold up. I'm trying to be careful. There it is. That's the one we missed. Okay. Now we're back to this part. Oh, never mind. I was gonna try to get some gems. I probably shouldn't have, but it doesn't matter. We we finished. GG, guys. All broken up. This area has seen some major seismic action. Wind your way through it carefully. You got it. Nice. Sweet, that worked out. Worked out pretty good. We got plenty of stars and everything. All broken up. And they, wait a minute, they said seismic activity. Does that mean like earthquakes and stuff? Wait a minute. Let's go up here for a second. This is some bonus. Oh wait, you have to have four pink flowers to to use the out to use the lift. All right, that's new. I have not seen flower requirements for lift yet. Oh okay. I see. There's like one flower. You know what's another good, another good thing they did? They didn't hide flowers or anything behind areas where you don't have the camera at a viewable angle. That's pretty good. You missed a pink. There we go, nice. Oh wait, oh I can't go over here from the, I have to go from up there, okay. Look at all those gems though guys, we're gonna get an extra life. Absolutely stinking, wait, wait. 
if I can figure out how to get over it. Wait, maybe not. How do you get over there? I don't freaking know. There's so many of them, too. No, no! Ah, now my carried over gems are gone, too. Way. Well, I was hoping we'd get an extra life. I guess not. Too good to be true. Six more orange flowers. Ah! Forgot to plant all these. What the crap? Just bumped up against the tree and went off in the water. Lame. Okay, let's try it again. Pure pain. GG, bro. My gosh, this game is a real challenge, Well, Yeah, I know, it doesn't seem like it would be. But it's kind of challenging in, in places, a little bit. So, and for such a casual, simple game, it's really fun. Funny how that is, how a lot of the more casual, simple experiences can be some of the more enjoyable ones. Not always. There's obviously plenty of more advanced, more complicated games that are fun, but... You know, it's kind of like food, in a way. You want to have a little bit of variety. There's complicated games, there's simple games. There's complicated meals, there's simple meals. There's junk food games. Then there's games that are good for you. Just like food, right? RuneScape, good for you. Call of Duty, junk food. As an example. Okay, I guess that's all I can get out of there. Oh, that's different. Oh. Oh, we're done! Collected five stars, got the bronze. Cool, really wish I'd gotten those gems though. That would have been neat. That was fast. Level of Overballs. Oh, wow. That's an original title. Mosh! Says hello. What's good, Mosh? Welcome to the stream, buddy. We are playing Overball today. A fun little game about planting flowers with a beach ball. Or growing flowers with a beach ball. Hmm. Good to see you, man. Hope you're doing well. Only by growing all the flowers in Overland can you understand the Overball. <laughs> I, I, I'm so sure. Okay. <laughs> Only by planting all of the flowers can you understand the overball. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, the next time your 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 parents are fussing at you for leaving the, your dirty towel on the floor, or your teacher is telling you to get your life together because you down a point in science or whatever, just look them dead in the face and tell them. In order to truly understand the overball, you must plant all the flowers. <laughs> Thus proving that you're the intellectually superior being. Ah! Crap. It's me, your next co-owner of the server, says Mosh. Nice. Oh man, only by growing all the flowers in Overland can you understand the overall. That's that's what you gotta tell them. That's what you gotta tell them. Make sure to write that information down, ladies and gentlemen. It's golden. Carry you a long way in life. <laughs> uh Oh, no, 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 nope, 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 good deal. Beautiful. Why is everyone saying Mosh? Why is everyone saying Mosh in the chat? Because he's going to be the next co-owner, is that why? Mm, excuse me. All right, so far, so good. Not that many enemies on these last couple of levels. Mostly just about running around and getting flowers and knocking over bridges. And avoiding rolling off the edge. Which, fair enough, that's a big enough challenge on its own. There you go. Oh, come on! Bumped right on that pole is what I did. Yes, 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 yes. Yes. Nice. Oh. Ooh, hoo, hoo. okay. Bridge up this way. Oh, bottle cap. Hello, bottle caps. Guess they finally found us some enemies to fight, didn't they? 
Oh, there's a gem up there. Should I get it? It's risky, but no! No, maybe I shouldn't. Maybe I shouldn't do that. I want to do it. No, I, I shouldn't be- Oh, no! No! I should not be doing that. There's- there's no good reason in the world for me to do that. At all. Oh, it's just asking for trouble. That's- that's all it is. That's all- Yeah, I got one! Okay, no, okay. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Careful. Careful, we gotta- we gotta chill. Why do I bother? <sighs> I mean, you don't even- the, the point is they give you extra lives, but when you use up one of your continue- well... I guess people are trying to get a high score- ah! Level of five overballs. Level- I thought it was just called level of the overballs. Why is it level of five overballs now? Did they change it? Or did I just imagine it? No, don't get up there, Cassie. Yeah, I really shouldn't. I just really wanted those gems, but, yeah. Let's be honest. It's really not worth the effort. got four. What's well, another 12 among friends? Atif says, as soon as I return, I see Castine. Yeah, it seems to be the theme, doesn't it? <laughs> to be fair though, Atif, these are somewhat challenging levels. I think we only have a couple of left, to be honest with you guys. Like, I haven't really been keeping count. But, I think we're nearly at the end. Honestly, I thought we'd like finish this game in half an hour because I really didn't know how much content there was in here Like we've been playing for over oh, like two and a half hours We got a decent amount, little amount of content out of this And we could still come back and stream it another time if we want to because there's a timed mode in here We're just doing collection mode. We even start time mode. I mean, that's basically like speedrunners mode, right? I'm sorry beautiful gems. I must weave you. Oh, hey, here's some Oh, man. No! Crap. Okay. Nice and gentle. Nice and gentle. There you go. Nice. Made it. Uh, Overball got four sequels in the period of time from first reading and second reading. Uh, never thought about this, but usually balls float on water. This ball literally, weigh, literally weighs like ten trucks. That's true. Just sinks down in there. Anything but the metric system. What's wrong with the metric system? Only one more area of the over desert needs flowers now, but be careful of the curse of the Pharaoh. Pharaoh's curse. Okay, I'll try to avoid the Pharaoh's curse, I guess. Uh, based on the wording, that does make me think this is the last level. Oh, come on! Wow! What? Wow. okay. No. No, don't want to do any of that. Play collection mode. Oh! I think that's actually the next to last one. Okay. Let's keep going. Beautiful. Beautiful. Grab those. Grab that. Gems, not bad. I'm still, I'm, I'm, I'm looking out for the curse of the Pharaoh. Is it this really obnoxiously steep se section with all the gems? Is that the curse of the Pharaoh? Sure, stink what it feels like. That was totally worth it. I've got 13 gems, guys. I can get a fourth life if I find three more. 
Oh, man. Metric system is better than the Imperial system? At least, I would think so. At least it's all follows a similar format, groups of 10. Imperial system's kind of all over the place. Dang it! I was right. That is the curse of the Pharaoh, the really steep section. Wow. Wow. Okay. Let's go on this side. This side looks less steep, honestly. No, 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 no! And that's why you shouldn't course correct, ladies and gentlemen. That's why you should never course correct. At least not that much. No, the Pharaoh of the blue the Pharaoh of the blue tiles. Yeah, that would be the curse of the Pharaoh. The Pharaoh of the blue tiles. I am Pharaoh Nebula of the Blue Titles. And I don't know why I thought that sounded like a pharaoh. What would a pharaoh even sound like? Probably sound like he's from Brooklyn. Hey, I'm walking here! That's a pharaoh. Now we need to get another bomb. Nice. Thirty-nine. Okay. Grab some more pink flowers. Thirty-nine. Perfect. Got two gems. I want to grab the rest of those gems from the steep area, which we're about to do. The Pharaoh curse is real. The curse of blue tiles unbinding. Hmm. That actually be that would actually be a good name for a sequel. Overball. The curse of the blue tiles. No. Just stay really on the edge, you're really fine right here. You're gonna have to go around these guys, grab this bomb real quick. Gentlemen. Nice. You know, got no Keep spawning me back here at the steep part too. The curse of the Pharaoh is that everyone around here can't make their building straight. <laughs> okay. We're up to the gold flowers. That's probably a good sign. Are we gonna find any more gems? I want an extra life, son. No, no, no! You know what the sad thing is? I actually saw more gems over there. The curse of the Brooklyn Pharaoh blue tiles. I buy it uncanny on both this and Hamster Ball use the same common font, in fact. Do they? That's interesting. Good fishman, welcome! Cass, what the flip is this? <laughs> well, it's not Fortress of Doom, I'll tell you that much. <laughs> this is Overball, good fishman. This is a game that I played when I was a child. And I found refound it again as an adult, and I was like, I should totally stream this. But I never did, because I was always busy doing something else. Right? You know how it is. So much Doom, so much Grand Theft Auto. It was time for things like Overball, right? But uh, we're doing a new thing on the channel. Not super new, because we've done it before, but we hadn't done it in a long time. Where uh, we take a day out of the week, in this case, Saturdays. And we just play uh, some different stuff. Something shorter, something a little bit more laid back. Yeah. Maybe maybe not so much laid back, but yeah, overball. That's what this is. So the point of the game is you're a beach ball and you plant flowers. And avoid the curse of the pharaoh! Okay, I'm good. I'm good! No! Oh well. Overball 2, curse of the blue tiles. Yeah, you got it. Same game mechanic, and in fact, they're like cousins. Overball 2. Cousin mechanics. That doesn't make any sense. Never mind. I need to start talking before I say... No, I need to start thinking before I say things. There we go. That was close. No! Ah! Okay. All right, we're good. We got this. We're going to preserve our last life here.
nice. Very nice. All right, let's go up here. One is exploration oriented, the other is time attack oriented. Are you talking about collection mode versus time attack mode? Or are you talking about hamster ball versus overall? Because there is a time attack mode in here. Nah, this is fortress of ball, bull. Fortress of ball, I could see that, yeah. I could see this being fortress of ball. Dude. Dude. Okay, I gotta go up here and get at least one more gem. I missed a couple, but that's okay. Yes! Oh, now we have an extra life. I'm so happy. Because we're so close to the end. I think. Maybe. Time for another bomb. I need to go back. I need to go back. Blue ones, right near the edge. We still have our second life. This is beautiful. This is going amazing. Plant those, plant those. This is such a long level. Imagine having to restart it at this point. Oh, no, no, I shouldn't have said that. I should not have said that. I totally jinxed myself. Okay, we have one life, and I can literally see the exit from here. I shouldn't have said that. That's going to make me all tense. Okay, ball collector theme hat simulator. <laughs> Funny enough, I played a ball game when I was little. It's just like this. It was on the Xbox 360. I think it was called Marble Blast or something close. Huh. Yeah, I can imagine um, a ton of games copied one another in this particular concept because it's such just a simple like casual game sort of concept for 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 a title Boom, we did it beautiful okay collected 13 stars we're bronze great bronze is the best looking ball out of all of them i don't even care oh we won congratulations you won that was the last level so there were only 17 levels after all all right well gg guys in your name here no i think i'm good all right, guys, and that was uh, Overball. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed the stream. Uh, maybe someday we'll come back and play this again, and we'll do time mode next time. It's probably the same thing, but there's time limits on the level, so you have to speed run it, making it even more anxiety-inducing. There's probably little clock pickups to add time and stuff. Most of those games that have that mechanic do that. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, just a taste of what's to come with casual Saturday streams. And uh, we're actually following this up in about 15 minutes. We're going to be streaming another game. And that is... I'm going to show it to you guys real quick. Hold up. We are playing next here again in 15 minutes. Portal, the Flash version. So if you want to see me play that, uh, stick around. Because we'll be starting with this. Going to take a quick break. Use the bathroom. Stretch my legs like you do. And uh, we'll come back and play this next. Anyway, guys, thank you for being here. Hope you enjoyed the Overball stream. I'm going to read the chat, and we'll wind down. Who here has played Vib Ribbon? Oh, yeah, that again. Hamster Ball versus Overball. That needs to be a YouTube video, just comparing those two games side by side. You know, which one is better. Congrats, man. You're now the Overball and Legend. Thanks, dude. Is there anyone out there on YouTube who's completed Overball before? I'll bet you there is. I'll bet you there absolutely is. Overball full game, why not? Overball world record. Four years ago. He literally did it all in like 20 minutes. Took me slightly longer than that. <laughs> Good job anyway, dude. My favorite game, Portal. Awesome. Yeah, I'm glad... I'm glad you're to hear that, because Portal is an excellent game. I haven't even played Half-Life, but I've played Portal. And uh, I'm looking forward to the Flash version of it. Cast beat level 18 of Overball. If they make one, I'll be happy to do so. Hopefully, if they do make one, they'll add some bananas. You know what I'm saying? Anyway, guys, thank you all again for tuning in. Until next time, I've been your host, Cast Gaming. And I will see you all at the top.